this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on redemption of debentures. I wish to solve one sum here before you. Just observe it on the screen. This is a sum which I wish to solve here before you. The summarized balance sheet of Convertible Limited as on 30th June 2007 stood as follows. Share capital 50 lakhs, general is of 75 lakhs, debenture redemption 150 lakhs, convertible debenture 100 lakhs, other loans 50 lakhs, other current liabilities 125 lakhs, fixed assets debenture redemption fund investment 40 lakhs, cash and bank balance 50 lakhs, other current assets 200 lakhs. The debentures are due for redemption on 1st of July 2017. The terms of issue of debenture provided that they were redeemable at a premium of 5% and also conferred an option to the debenture holders to convert 20% of their holding into equity shares at a predetermined price of 15.75 per share and the payment and the, and the payment in cash. Assume that except 100 debenture holders holding 25,000 debentures, the rest of them exercise the option for maximum conversion. The investment real is 44 lakhs on sale. All the transactions put through without any lag on 1st of July. Redraft the balance sheet of the company as on 1st of July after giving the effect of effect to the redemption. Show your calculation in respect of number of equity shares to be allotted and the cash payment as necessary. Now, here I am required to redraft the balance sheet after considering this point. So let me first of all prepare the working note because I am told that uh, calculation in respect of number of equity shares to be allotted. So I want to demonstrate first of all calculation as to number of equity shares that we are required to give at the time of conversion of debentures as mentioned here. Just observe. So this is the details of sum. The convertible debentures are 100 lakhs. 100 lakhs, so 1 lakh debentures of rupees 100 is so number of debentures are 1 lakh. Now, accept debenture holders holding totally 25,000 debentures, the rest of them exercise the option for maximum conversion. So, there are 100 debenture holders, they are holding 25,000 debentures, they have not exercised option. So, out of this 1,000 debentures, this 25,000 debentures were, ca were paid cash for option not exercised by them. So, on 25,000 debentures, we are required to pay cash with premium. So, face value plus premium is payable on this 25,000 shares because they have not exercised option. So, out of 1,000, 25,000 has not exercised option. The rest of the rest of the debenture holders have exercised the option. So 75,000 debenture holders have exercised the option. So now when they exercise the option, what happens? Debenture holders to convert 20% of their holding in equity shares. So for 20% holding, equity shares will be paid. And for remaining 80%, cash will be paid. So, 75,000 into 20% holding. So, for 15,000, so 15,000 debentures are converted into equity shares. And 75,000 into 80%, for 60,000 debentures, you have to pay cash. Now, when you convert into equity share, the equity shares are given at a price of predetermined price of 15.75. So on this 15,000 debentures you are required to pay with premium. 100 is the face value, 5% is the redemption premium. So 105 is the amount payable. So 15 lakh 75,000 is the total amount payable. On the debentures that are converted and the exchange value for equity share is 15.75. So number of shares given are 15 lakh 75,000 divided by 15.75. 1 lakh shares are given and these are the conversion so 1 lakh shares are given 
and cash is paid for this 75,000 into 80%, 60,000 debenture holders and this 25,000 debenture holders. So both the debenture holders are paid cash. So how much cash is paid? So if you want to work out total 1 lakh minus 15,000 converted into equity shares, so that will work out to 85,000. Or otherwise, you can say that 25,000 plus 60,000, the total is 85,000 debentures are paid cash. And they are paid cash at the rate of 105 per debenture because 5 is a redemption premium. So 85,000 into 105, this is the amount paid in cash. So I was asked to demonstrate the working that how much equity shares are given in conversion and how much cash is paid. I have prepared this working note for your understanding. Now I am going to use this working note while solving the sum. Observe it. So these are the various accounts that I intend to prepare. Because I am required to draft the balance sheet here I prepare notes on accounts. Now first the terms of issue of debentures provided that the redeemable at a premium of 5% debentures are 100 lakhs. So debentures account debit to debenture holders account credit. So debenture account, debenture holders account is credited with this 100 lakhs. Now they are paid 5% redemption premium. So 5% redemption premium is also required to be credited to debenture holders account. So 100 lakhs into 5%, 5 lakhs. Debenture redemption premium is also credited to debenture holders account. And this is a loss on redemption of debentures. It is required to be debited to generalism or it can be debited to debenture redemption fund. I am going to debit that at present to generalism. Might as well you can debit this debenture redemption premium to debenture redemption fund. But I am going to debit, debit that at, or to generalism. So generalism balance is 75 lakhs and this redemption premium is adjusted against general reserve. So debenture account debit, debenture redemption premium account debit to debenture holders account credit and debenture redemption premium is debited to general reserve. So this is how, this is the amount payable to debenture holders. Now investments, now for the purpose of making payment you must have Bank balance, investment real is 44 lakhs. So, debenture redemption fund investment are 40 lakhs. They are sold for 44 lakhs. So, cash and, cash and bank account debit to debenture redemption fund investment account credit. Let me write down the cash and bank balance first of all. So, cash and bank account debit to debenture redemption fund investment account credit. So, bank balance increases. Investments realized. Profit on sale of investment will be transferred to debenture redemption fund. So this profit on sale of investment is transferred to debenture redemption fund. This is how now I have got the bank balance available. Now the transaction is put through. Now what is the transaction put through? There is a conversion and the cash payment. Transaction is put through. I have already prepared a working note for the main transaction. So let me bring this transaction. So 89,000, 89,25,000 is paid in cash. So debenture holders account debit to bank account credit. So cash payment is done. Now 1,000 equity shares are issued to the debenture holders at a premium of 5.75. Let me prepare a working. So this is the equity share capital given. So debenture holders account debit to equity share capital account credit. I write in capital temporarily 10 lakhs rupees. Security premium 15 lakh 75,000 minus 10 lakh 5 lakh 75,000 is a security premium. So debenture holders account debit to security premium. I write security premium 5 lakh 75,000 in my working notes. Loan to notes to accounts. So this is how this transaction is considered. After that, I want to copy the balances. So when I am out to copy the balances, 5 lakh equity shares of about 10 is 50 lakhs. 50 lakhs plus this 10 lakhs. So total share capital will become 60 lakhs. This 10 lakhs are given in conversion that I have recorded in notes on accounts. So this 50 lakhs plus 10 lakhs 
it will become 60 lakhs. Just observe. Once again, 60 lakhs. And share of 10, so number of shares are 6 lakhs. This is how I have presented to you the share capital title in notes on accounts. Debenture redemption fund 50 lakhs that I will write on the credit side. Other loans. Current liabilities and provision. Notes on accounts. Fixed assets. Last appreciation. Other current assets. Done. Now let me close this account. This debenture redemption fund will be transferred to general reserve. So 54 lakhs will be transferred to general reserve. Now this account is closed. Cash and bank app. The balance will appear in the cash and cash equivalents. 475,000. This general reserve balance will go to the balance sheet. 124 lakhs. So I am required to write down general reserve 124,000 here in reserve center of trust. But I don't have space to write. So this is how it should be presented. So general reserve 75 lakhs. Debenture redemption fund 54 lakhs means 50,000 is the balance and profit on sale of 54 lakhs. Premium return of 5 lakhs, so 124 lakhs. So in this resource and surplus, I should write in this fashion resource and surplus. This is how the general reserve is required to be reported as per schedule 3. But as I don't have space, so I just demonstrate this is how it should be reported. But let me write down 1,29,000 the total for a while. You are not supposed to write one general reserve 124 lakhs in this fashion. You are supposed to write this description in the notes on accounts to fetch full marks. But you know the limitation of my screen. So I have just demonstrated in this fashion. This is how general reserve need be reported and it is shown here for the purpose of preparing balance sheet. Now debenture holders account is closed. Now I want to prepare the balance sheet. So, share, equity share capital assets and liabilities. So, these are the titles in which the reporting will be made. Share capital, resource and surplus, 129,75,000. Long term loans, current liabilities and short term provisions, fixed assets, then current assets. Cash and cash equivalents. Now have a total of this balance sheet. Total of equity and liability. Same way total of assets. It should be same. So this is how the balance sheet totals agree. I have prepared notes on accounts. How this journalism need be reported that also is, been, is being demonstrated. These are the various ledger accounts prepared for the for your understanding. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to Allah.